What is up guys, Adam here, welcome back to another AC Milan Master League in PES 2017. As you can take a look at the table, we're in 5th place with 28 points. And as you see right now, the team spirit is 68. That's because I've made some altercations to the lineup and I want to bring in players based on this new formation. So let's go take a look at the negotiations first. We do have some offers for some of our players. Zapata, 8.8 .8 million from Granada. Let's accept it right away, that's going to put us up to 57 million. And I do want to make some signings for some players. We are going to accept the loan offer for Pobega to I think that was AZ yes AZ in the Netherlands League and then La Ferrara uh, a loan offer to Santos let's accept it straight away and we do have the negotiations for some of the players like I said I wanted to get Bernardeschi or Insigne but with this new formation I'm not really sure Douglas Santos the transfer fee is 22 million so uh, the contract has been I guess reduced from last time out and if we go to change negotiation deals, it's only going to be about 54% accepted. So I'm going to go ahead and right away accept the terms. Our squad is full, but once those players leave, we're going to be able to accept them into the club. And if we go take a look at the listed players, two players that I do want to get are Anthony Martial. So let's apply for transfer negotiations. Actually, let's not because I have him and Lucas Lima. I want to pick up Lucas Lima. He can come in. Uh, somebody actually suggested him to me. His team role is already a team player. So he's going to up the team spirit once he comes in. So let's apply for transfer negotiations with him. And when we end up selling Adriano and two or three other players, I'm going to make an offer for Martial. And we'll see exactly what happens with Bernardeschi and Insigne. First game of this episode coming up against Sassuolo. And if you're watching this today, the game against Sassuolo is actually coming up in about a few hours. So let's see if we can win here and then in real life win. Let's jump into this match. Let's see what we can do. And I hope that we can pick up three points even though our team spirit is down to 68 once again we're going to be playing that lineup that i showed you at the beginning of the episode they're going with Consili, acerbi canavaro gazzola adjapong senzi miseroli duncan berardi Politano and Matri. Let's jump into this. hopefully berardi does not score against us because that's always what happens in real life They have a corner, Berardi to take, Berardi into the middle, Romagnoli is there, Antonelli just cleared this one away, out of the danger, but it does take a deflection, Romagnoli cleared this one away, somebody, the ball is just bouncing all over the place, nobody had any idea what to do with that ball, I tried my best to clear it out, now we got Bonaventura up to Niang, Niang cannot get to that one, but he blocks it, and it comes to nothing, free kick for Sassuolo, Berardi, I mean Cannavaro to take, whips that one in, Romagnoli's there, somebody get on him, nice block, get this ball out, Gomez doing everything he could, nicely done by Gustavo Gomez, Kuchka up to Baca, Baca to Niang, let's play the 1-2, let's play the 1-2, let's see if he can give it over the top, he cannot, Bonaventura, here comes Sassuolo on the counter attack, Politano in, Gomez is there, Gomez get this one out, Romagnoli nicely done, let's bring it upfield, let's bring it upfield, let's see what we can do, Suso, Tricky on the ball, Bonaventura, Baca to Niang, ba Niang, let's go, Baca's making the run, try to give it to him, got taken down, and that's another free kick outside the box, now we're gonna give this one to Suzo, because it's on the left side of goal, if it doesn't give it to Suzo already, that's pretty stupid, I need to score a free kick, boys, I need to score a free kick, if I go this whole series without scoring a free kick, I'm gonna be pissed off on myself, Suzo outside the box, let's see what he can do with this one, let's see what he can do with this one, it was on target, Great save by Consigli, great save by Consigli, that one was going in, my first free kick that had a chance to go in, let's whip this corner in with Suzo, Suzo's there, there's Kucha, Kucha goes for the header, Antonelli outside the box, Antonelli the volley, Antonelli, that one's wide, Antonelli, Kucha, nicely done, let's go Baka, Baka to Niang, Niang, Let's give this one back to Baka. Baka to Kuchka, who is onside, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if he can give in a low cross. Baka's trying to get in. Paradez is coming forward. Paradez, let's go for the volley. Paradez, it's blocked. Ah, oh, why did he take a touch? Why didn't he just fire straight away? And here comes Domenico Berardi. Gomez is on him. Gomez, nice challenge by Gustavo Gomez to stop Berardi's attack. Can he get to this one and play it upfield? Nicely done. Bonaventura. Bonaventura, middle, Suzo, Niang, this is nice one-touch football, Niang, let's give this back into Suzo, Suzo on the ball, Suzo, let's go for the left-footed shot, Suzo, on his good foot, cannot score on the near post, very nice one-touch football here, Baka to Niang, Niang plays it right back into Suzo, Suzo takes it around the defender, 
The strike just misses the target. Here's Baca taking it around. Let's go, Baca. Baca taking it down the wing. Baca cannot get around Godzola. And that's probably going to be cleared. And that's the end of the first half. Nil-nil. It's up to the second half, boys. We've had some good opportunities, especially on the free kick. It's still nil-nil. And we have to watch Berardi because he can just score out of nowhere. Kuchka, Calabria, Calabria. Into the middle to Baca. Baca, Niang. Niang, Paredes is running forward. That would have been a beautiful play. Niang is coming back. Nice. Suso to Baca. Let's go, Baca. Baca on the ball. Baca, what can he do? Baca. Ah. <sighs> The referee is calling nothing. The referee is calling nothing. Here's Berardi on the left-hand side. Block him, Gomez. Block him, Gomez. Watch the cross. Antonelli's there. Let's clear this one out. Calabria. That's all the way up for Baca. Baca, can he get it to Niang? Niang can't get to that one. Donnarumma, great save. And oh, Alessandro Matri celebrating against his former club that just shipped him off. Defending was poor on that one. Very, very poor. I thought we would have got the ball here with Paredes. Cleared that one out just to nobody. And Matri is there to slot that one home. Five yards out. We're down one nil. Calabria finally gets it out up to Baca. To Niang. Let's go, Niang. Come on, Niang. We've got the speed. We've got the time. We've got the speed. Niang into Baca. That's a beautiful ball. Baca, let's take the shot. No, oh, Consigli. Baka, you need to go far post. You just shot it straight at him. Substitution time. I'm taking off Baka and I'm bringing on Lapadula. Seeing if he could put one in. Suzo for Lapadula. Lapadula, he has fresh legs. He has fresh legs. What can he do with it? Somebody. He's got to help him out. Kuchka, Suzo, right back to Kuchka. Kuchka out wide for Calabria. Calabria, let's whip in this ball. Lapadula's coming. Lapadula's there. Kuchka, head this one down to Lapadula. Volley. Lapadula coming so close on a little half volley. Off the cross from Calabria, he started the play once again. And Kuchka headed that one down for Lapadula. A nice right-footed volley on his weak foot. Let's see what we can do on this corner. We're fighting to get back into this match. 85th minute, Bonaventura whips this one in. There's part of this. No, Antonelli outside the box. Antonelli! That was a poor shot. That was a very poor shot. Niang, go. Niang, guts taken down. And the referee finally gives me something. Okay, we've got a free kick in the 90th minute. Plus two. There's no way we're shooting from here. There's no way we're shooting from here. Let's give it straight to Bonaventura. Bonaventura out to Lapadula. Lapadula. Calabria is coming in. Calabria, let's whip this one in there. Suzo Niang is getting there. Niang just had to stick out his foot. Just had to stick out his foot. And we pick up a 1-0 loss. Nothing's going right in the past couple of games. We've had so many opportunities in this match. Just weren't able to score and we walk out of here with no points at the San Siro. And with that loss, we're in 5th place with 28 points. We're trying to make our way up the table, but with losses like that, it's never gonna happen. We're still in 5th place, Roma behind us with 26 as well as Empoli. Some good news after that bad loss, Donnarumma's overall has increased to 80. And now he's reached the mark of 80. Like I said, he's gonna be our goalkeeper for the whole of this career and Vangioni who I honestly have not used, has decreased to a 74. A sports director has said that the transfer negotiations for Lucas Lima have broken down. I'm actually gonna go take a look at why they have broken down. Usually, you could always offer once again. It says, uh, negotiations have failed. Your transfer offer has been turned down. He's an important player for the team, but it's worth reopening negotiations just one more time. We have 57 million. I'm gonna continue negotiations. Let's renegotiate and await a response. Now we have a match coming up against AS Roma once again at the San Siro. They're right behind us, like I said, and we need a victory here, boys. Our past couple of games have been very tough, and I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because of the team spirit. Maybe it's just because I'm not focused in these matches, but that's the troubles of being a manager. We're going to have ups and downs, and we have to go through this rough patch to get to a good one. Let's jump into it. Roma is not going to be an easy opponent. Lineup for this match. Donnarumma, Calabria, Garay, Romagnoli, Antonelli, Paredes, Kuchka, Pazalic replacing Bonaventura, who's been in poor form. Suzo, Baca, and Yang. Roma is going with Chesney, Florenzi, Vermalen, Manolas, Mario, Rui, De Rossi, Vizzo, Nangolan, Mohamed Salah, Totti, and Diego Perotti. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can stop this Roma team. Let's go, boys. We have to show our home fans that these losses aren't going to affect anything. Baka, back to Suzo. Suzo to Niang. That's a poor pass from Suzo. Yes, boys. Nice passing. Here's Niang. Let's go, Niang. Come on, take this around, Niang. Niang is on the ball. Let's give this one in. There's Suzo. 
could not get a shot off. Niang did all the work on that one, just could not get the final pass. Here comes Roma, Totti into Mohamed Salah. Donnarumma come out, Donnarumma great save. Let's clear this one, Pasalic tries to clear it. Parades is there. Suzo, Pasalic, Pasalic to Kuchka. Calabria is running forward. Can he get the ball in? No, he's going to wait. He's going to wait it. He's going to hold it. He's going to hold it. Now break around Nangolan. Calabria tries to go. Nice sliding challenge. And the referee is actually going to give us a foul on that one. Pasalic, let's just hold it up over here and try something from a free kick. Let's see if we can whip this one in with Suzo and find somebody's head. Let's see if we can find somebody's head. Whip this one in. Kuchka's there. Kuchka with the header. Comes back out for Antonelli. Antonelli, give this one to Suzo. Suzo on the ball. Suzo, uh, no foul. Suzo, Pasalic, Pasalic to Niang. Niang out wide for Antonelli. Can he get to this one? Yes, he can. Antonelli whip it in. Baka's there. Baka with the header. Baka heads that one wide. Baka could have scored already. Antonelli with a very nice cross. And if nothing works, if he can't go down the middle, I'm just going to start sending in crosses because this is all that seems to work. Baka cannot finish that one with his head. Corner for Roma on the right hand side of goal. Let's man mark, let's man mark, but somebody's actually going for the ball. Pasalic is gonna go, go up to him, Florenzi into the middle, Calabria is there. Suzo, get to that one, Suzo is not quick enough. Calabria, the header! I thought it was gonna be 1-0 for Roma. I thought, I legitimately thought that was gonna be 1-0 for Roma. He came diving in and heads that one wide. A very nice ball over the top and Mohamed Salah just dove for that one, but couldn't find the back of the net. Send this one up, Niang. Niang Baka, Baka, wide to Kuchka, Kuchka, I see Niang running, that's a ball, Niang goes for the header, why did he not go for a volley, why did he not try a volley, that actually troubled Chesney, Chesney had to die for that one, some very nice passing led up to this, Kuchka, I maybe could have continued going, but I saw Niang running, and the header does go wide, nice boys, one minute of added time, but I think the referee is actually going to blow the whistle right here, yes, nil nil, We've both had some decent chances. Roma coming close once or twice. Watch Nangola and the shot. Great save, Donnarumma. Antonelli's there and Mohamed Salah puts that one back in. It's 1-0 for Roma. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Between this and the computer troubles, it's just getting me so nervous. I don't understand what's going on. 1-0, Mohamed Salah. Let's go, Suzo, Suzo Baka, Baka, Niang. Let's go, Niang, into Baka. Baka's there, Baka takes a shot, Baka! Left footed, he missed. No, that was the game right there. That was to draw the game level. And he cannot put that one in. I can't believe that. One opportunity. Left footed. Baka. That is frustrating. That is very, very frustrating. Tried so hard to get back into this match. I tried everything. I tried everything. I changed the tactics. I tried everything. And nothing feels like working. They just scored off a rebound. And another game where we're frustrated and we pick up no points. 1-0 for Roma and that puts us in 6th place. And look at that boys, we're down to 6th place. We're down to 6th place with 28 points. 8 victories, 4 draws, 5 losses. This is more the Milan we're used to seeing in real life. We still have time in this season to move up the table but for right now it's just getting frustrating between this like i said my computer troubles i hope you guys are still enjoying these episodes let's see if we do have some notifications before this episode ends and i think i might simulate one final match romagnoli is actually improving dramatically at the moment uh like i said i'm gonna try simulating one final match and seeing if maybe we could get a victory under our belt because we're taking on palermo away from home on match day 18th let's jump into it i'm probably gonna skip it and see what happens but yeah we do need a victory here boys let's skip this match boys if we win we win if we lose we lose if we draw we draw it doesn't really matter and we pick up a 4-2 victory that was unexpected we actually won a game boys maybe this is the start of something we have 31 points nine victories four draws five losses and we're in sixth place. Udinese and Lazio are tied with us. I'm going to get back to winning ways, boys. Do not worry. Do not worry. I'm not going to rage too much. It's just... There's been a lot, boys. <laughs> Romagnoli is improving dramatically at the moment. Stamina is now 80. Romagnoli has now mastered skill training. Track back. Don't know what that means. I'm going to have to look it up. And Bayaniang has been training with his mindset on prolific winger. And has finally managed to develop his own playing style. And what else do we have? 
what's on the 29th footballer of the year in asia announcement let's see who it is let's see who's the footballer of the year k speed i don't know who that is is he a made-up player <laughs> or he's an actual real player he wins the asian player of the year award congrats to him and it seems that Romagnoli wants to keep playing with you and gaining experience. He has acquired Protégé level 1, more experience, points earned per match, and master player skills faster. So that's pretty cool for Romagnoli. And there's also been an update for Lucas Lima. And our club ranking has been updated. Let's go take a look at that before this episode does end. Let's go to negotiations, other clubs, and the transfer fee is 54 million. That is absolutely ridiculous. We're going to change the negotiation deals and reduce the transfer fee is 32%. You guys let me know if you want me to pay 54 million for Lucas Lima. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it even though it was it was a, it was a disaster. Let's check the club ranking before it act we actually end this episode. We're 21st out of all the teams. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.